Dear friends, hi. This is a case of a 20-year-old male with known hydrocephalus who presented with a severe headache and CT scan was done to rule out acute intracranial pathology. I will scroll the images up and down and uh, just uh, have a look to the images to make your first impression. As, we, as you can see, uh, there are some uh, previous uh, post-operative changes and uh, there is a significant hydrocephalus and uh, when we go down to the skull base we can see uh, this image I will describe and explain you a little later but just have a look and make your impression regarding the skull base Okay, as you can see, there is evidence of uh, hypoplasia of the uh, posterior aspect of the skull base and uh, there is uh, this impression that uh, the foramen magnum is uh, slightly uh, projected upward. I will show you in sagittal views. Here is the mid-sagittal. And here is the coronal view. Just concentrate in this region. I will show you in uh, uh, bone algorithm images, bone window as well. Just keep in mind that uh, here is the foramen magnum and here is the odontoid process of the C2 vertebra. This is the C1 vertebra, the atlas. And here is the odontoid process of the C2. Let's have a closer look. So this is a congenital abnormality. Let's go back to the sagittal view to explain you the images. As you can see, the clivus bone and generally the skull base has an abnormal flattening. This is called platybasia. So platybasia is the, the abnormal flattening of uh, the skull base. And how we measure it, I will show you. Uh, right away. We try to find the angle formed by a line uh, passes uh, parallel to the floor of the anterior cranial fossa up to the center of the pituitary fossa and the line joining the center of the pituitary fossa uh, up to the anterior border of the foramen magnum here and uh, this angle should be normally between 125 to 143 degrees in this case it's uh, 144 degrees so this is platybasia abnormal flattening of the uh, skull base but in this case uh, the patient has also basilar invagination or also called basilar impression and uh, this is uh, a congenital or acquired craniocervical junction abnormality where the tip of the odontoid process of the C2 vertebra projects above the foramen magnum, like in this case. It is well known that uh, there is a quite wide spectrum of uh, craniocervical junction and uh, skull base abnormalities and uh, some of them uh, are depicted here in this case. So this patient uh, suffers from uh, platybasia and basilar invagination. 
Dear friends, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. So, see you again soon.